20 years to see what the global warming movement was going to look like, and now I know, and it's awful sweet. You guys look amazing. Now, I've got six minutes up here to talk to you. Even though I'm a writer, I have just about given up on words. I've wasted so many of them in the last 20 years of fighting this battle. Now, I mostly deal in numbers. One number in particular, the most important number on Earth, 350. 350. Having a number to work with reminds us that this discussion that we're having this weekend and this movement that we're building is grounded in the most basic reality. We need to talk about politics, but first and last, we need to talk about physics and about chemistry. Physics and chemistry, physics and chemistry do not bargain, they do not negotiate, they do not compromise. This number 350 is a year old. It was calculated by a team led by our greatest climatologist, NASA's Jim Hansen. After the, after the shocking melt of Arctic ice two summers ago, his team sat down with reams of real-time observational data, with mountains of paleoclimatic data, and they concluded as follows, quote, if humanity wishes to preserve a planet similar to that on which civilization developed and to which life on Earth is adapted, the atmospheric concentration of CO2 can't be more than 350 parts per million. That is, if you sum up everything that's going on this weekend, coal and forests and oceans and animals and environmental justice and everything else, it has to add up to 350. That's the bottom line for our planet. And it is a shockingly tough number. First, because we're past it. Outside tonight, the CO2 level in the atmosphere is 387 parts per million and rising two parts per million a year. We're past where we should be, which is why the Arctic is melting. It is why mosquitoes are spreading. It is why Australia is on fire. It is why every glacier on Earth is receding. It's a tough number, too, because of what it implies the biggest political fight in human history. Hansen's team demonstrated that if the world is not out of the business of burning coal by 2030 and the Western world long before that, we will never get back to 350. There'll be too much carbon in the atmosphere. Hence, our 350.org campaign. Not an organization, a campaign that anybody and everybody needs to join. Why? a number as the base for a campaign. First reason, it holds our leaders to a standard. Copenhagen in December of this year will be the most important moment in many, many decades in the international stage. We have to reach a new climate agreement, and it can't just be a good enough kind of agreement. It has to actually do the job. Does a standard matter? Yes, it does. This number that this is a global problem. Arabic numerals cross boundaries. That number means the same thing everywhere, which is why we're building a grassroots movement around the globe. Already there have been actions in 50 countries, more all the time. But, and this is the date I need you to remember, October 24th of this year, a huge day of global grassroots action. Imagine, and these are things you won't have to imagine because you'll see them. Up high in the Himalayas, climbers with huge banners. Imagine 350 scuba divers down off the Great Barrier Reef. Last week we learned that there'll be a team of protesters on Easter Island, the poster child for what happens when you don't take seriously environmental crisis. Now imagine this, your campus, your town, your mosque, your church involved in just the same way on October 24th with something incredibly creative and incredibly beautiful. It's crucial for us to work on domestic legislation. That's one thing that happens to happen this year. But it's also crucial for the United States to remember finally after many long years that we are part of the world and to work with the rest of the world. So. As I close, I need your help right here and now for a little demonstration. And I've got three friends of mine from around the world, a Vipsa from India, Kate from the UK, Ellie from the Congo. They have, in case there are any sort of liberal arts majors out there, they've got the numbers right here. So you don't even have to think about them. You can see them, all right? We need a little demonstration loud enough to send around the world. 
So we're going to start over here with three, here in the middle with five, here with zero, with, with the O oh, over here, okay? We need to make a lot of noise. Three, five, O, oh, three, five, O, oh, three, five, O, oh, all together, three, five, O. Oh. Thank you all very much.